Hello, good morning. I am here to just brief you about some of the facts and facades of Lean Six Sigma. What is Six Sigma? Six Sigma is basically a protocol process benchmark wherein you eliminate your wastes and actually improve quality in your process. Six Sigma has got lot of scope for today's business process because it actually focuses on customer satisfaction which is a very important parameter in any industry today. Now previously say four to five decades back the industry standard were more focused on production, bulk production, quantity. But now, as paradigm shift has happened, companies, big multinational companies, manufacturing units, they are focusing more on the quality aspect. That is why Six Sigma is the process which actually helps you not only bring in quality, but also create sustainability in your process. There are two types, or you can say there are two methodologies of Six Sigma. One is DMAIC, which is basically a generic form or an abbreviation of Define, Measure, Analyze, Implement and Control. And for any new process, new product, new service, we have DMADV. It's the same, it's only define, measure, analyze, verify, and device. For example, Motorola, as we are all aware of this company, they are the one who actually started Six Sigma through the DMADV phase. That is when they launched this company in Japan in the year 1980. Now, CEO Bob Galvin, he was very much interested not to lose the parent brand, Motorola. But there were a lot of problems in the process going on, especially in the manufacturing. Customers were complaining about defects. That is the time when another visionary called Mr. Bill Smith, he actually, he was the, he was the CEO then. His target was to bring down the defects and Six Sigma does exactly that. His target was to bring down defects from 30,000 parts per million, that is a measure of defect, to 3 parts per million. For this he had taken 8 years. Remember, it's a very daunting task but he achieved. Now, what is the difference between Sigma and Lean? Because remember, nowadays processes are more based on Lean Six Sigma. See, what do we mean by Sigma? Sigma is basically that mathematical concept, standard deviation, right? It is basically variation, data-driven approach, wherein we have to actually analyze how much we are on the plus or the negative side of the mean. That is the standard deviation, right? So variation, data-driven process. What is lean? Can machines work if we do not provide instructions? If we do not provide human hands? That is where lean comes into play. Lean is basically wherein, wherein you are actually also focusing on your employee engagement other than customer engagement. Remember, there are two types of customers. External customers are the one to whom your products and service reach. But who are the ones who devise it? Who are the ones who do the market research? They are your internal customers. They are your employees. Employees have to be happy for an organization to run smoothly. And that is where the work of a human resource manager comes into play. So, if we consider it generally, Six Sigma is standard deviation which caters to data driven process for variation. And Lean is basically employee centric, people driven. Now, Six Sigma as I said, it, it, very, it, it will actually cater to the variation. Similarly, Lean actually helps in removal of waste, that is Muda. It's a Japanese term. 
So Muda, basically we have a warm pit model, very simple, warm pit. W stands for waiting time, which has to reduce. O, overproduction, customer doesn't want it, why do we need bulk? R, rework, reprocess, customer is not happy with the deliverables. You have to provide them with something extra. Modulate, M, motion, unnecessary movement of people or goods from one place to another. Warm is over, now we come to P. P stands for overprocessing. I, inventory, which is very important in your logistics and supply chain. T is transports. The good has to, the goods have to receive the final point at a very specific time. That is your on-pit model. Nowadays, we have also added employee satisfaction. Your employees are blessed in many ways. We have to analyze their potential and extract the best out of them, not exploiting them, keeping them happy. So this is your difference between Sigma and Lean Six Sigma. Now, before I end, I would like to give you the analysis since Excellency is in Mumbai and Mumbai is our financial capital, a very busy city. You know, who actually follows Six Sigma and Lean Six Sigma in our country? Any guesses? Mumbai Dabbawala. Can you imagine? Those people are not even educationally aware to conduct a business, but they have zero waste. There is no customer dissatisfaction. They're doing it day in, day out. You know why? Because Mumbai has that local train that conveys actually facilitates this process. Before I conclude, I would like to say there is a small formula. Six Sigma basically conduct actually you know it gives you a uh, it gives you an analysis of the waste. So for that. To achieve Six Sigma in your business, we actually have a standard term that is called parts per million or defects per million. That means if you are Six Sigma, you are at 99.9997% accuracy. Means 3.4 defects per million opportunities. Can you imagine? 3.4 out of 1 million to have Six Sigma. So that is why uh, you know companies might not always reach Six Sigma, but they do strive to achieve this kind of a parameter. This actually helps not only in business processes, but also makes your customer happy. Thank you.